Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of why you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can can and a can can, a can can, a can can, and a wheel. Now we're off to. Good morning, family. I hope you all are having a wonderful, wonderful Sunday morning, afternoon, or evening. We're coming back with a story on the um, platform by yahoo.com. We got Sonny Hostin talking about Queen Elizabeth and the system that she grew up in. Okay. <sighs> Mar- was it Marco? Margarita Rock? Something like that. We're going to call her Marco. She's an employee with the Yahoo.com franchise and she titled her post, The View post. Sonny Hostin criticizes Queen Elizabeth II for crown of pillage jewels. Okay, let's get on into what she's talking about it because it sounds kind of interesting. The monarchy was built on the backs of black and brown people hosting who previously lived and studied in London, said. All righty then, okay. When Queen Elizabeth II died Thursday at the age of 96 in her Scottish residence of Balmora, of Balmoral, let's just keep it simple, Uh, Balmoral. Thousands of Brits took the streets in mourning. Now, all were as grief stricken as Daniel Craig. However, as the View co host Sonny Hostin made sure to remind viewers on Friday. Okay, what is she reminding us of? Hold on and speak your truth. Okay, she wore a crown with pillaged stones from India and Africa said hosting on the show. And now what you're seeing, at least in the black communities that I'm a part of, they want reparations. Yeah, I've been looking at reparations as well, especially when I was 18. <laughs> I wanted a one-up, okay, a leg up. It, it would be thought that all the things that they did to our ancestors, we as black folk and brown folks, would get our education free, okay? But that's not happening. And I don't know what the uh, uh, President Biden is doing about it. It seems like he is just uh, being uh, having amnesia, or he's slowing his steps to approving a full-out pass for all people who have student loan debt. Clear it out, okay? We start all the way over, okay? Like I said, we were bailing out banks. We were bailing out the automobile companies. Here we go and repair countries that we didn't even start the war in but we can't get a bailout total erasing the um system of being under siege with all these student loan debts and you know education just costs too much especially the private sector as well as the government sector of education it's too much it really is just too much but that was my plight let me go on back into the story okay she wore like i said a pillage stones I'm on the tape. What do you want? I don't know if she's going out. I might. Why? Okay. All right. All right. Excuse me for that. I was talking to my mother. They tend to always come to me with issues when I am taping. But we forge ahead. We forge ahead. They also defended a controversial tweet regarding the news of the Marnage death which has been deleted by Twitter, Twitter from Nigerian-born Carnegie Mellon Professor Luigi Anya. So, okay, we just call him, oh, I mean you. I heard the chief monarch of a thriving, raping, genocidal empire is finally dying, tweeted Anya. May her pain be excruciating. Ooh, ooh, off the backs of brown and black people. Mm. Hostin defended the tweet by arguing that it was a thieving, raping, genocidal empire before adding, we can mourn the queen, but not the empire. 
The monarchy was built on the backs of black and brown people hosting who previously lived and studied in England or London. When the show's co-host Anna Navarro suggested that the United States was guilty of the same and built the country on the same backs as Britain, Hosting doubled down and stated firmly, and we want our reparations. Like they said it was three acres in a mule. I think they owe each of us 47 acres. Just, just put it out there. Well, hell, they can wipe my student debt completely off the radar. And any other infringement that may be on my credit report, just wipe it clean. Then I could get with it. I could get with our government. But right now, I'm just like open at this point waiting for the reparations that seem like they're never going to come. All right, but anyway, going back, it says Hosa was born to a black father and a Jewish Puerto Rican mother, according to the Daily Beast. After childhood in public housing, she tirelessly worked to become a federal prosecutor and an Emmy Award-winning TV reporter. She joined The View in 2016. Right now, Charles, that's King Charles to you all, is in a position. I think he has 14 colonies that he is now head of state, including Australia and Canada. I believe, if I'm correct, it's time for him to modernize the monarchy and it's time for him to provide reparations to all of those colonies, Post and said. I also think, you know, in a monarchy, it's very easy to uplift one family. The harder thing is to uplift all families. And I think that's it. And I think that's it's in a position to be able to do that. He is in a position to do that, at host in regards to the newly crowned monarch. She explained that we all love glam and pageantry, but that's the monarchy deserves some rightful criticism. It appears that it's not alone, well, Hostin is not alone in her assertions towards Queen Elizabeth II and the royal family. Irish dance group Perform Queens, another one bites the dust. Thursday in front of the Buckingham Palace, according to New Week to Newsweek. Soccer fans at Dublin's top Tollett Stadium, meanwhile, chanted Lizzie in a box to KFC and the Sunshine Band, give it up, according to Fox Sports. Hmm. Annual statement, meanwhile, was publicly rebuked by former Amazon CEO. Jeff Bezos, who's quoted, tweeted her post and asked, this is someone supposedly working to make the world better. I don't think so. Wow. Well, here we go with the deflection. Here we go with the deflection again. When you try to um, talk about nit and gritty stuff, things that have substance that weigh on the black and brown community. We just want to dismiss it. We just want it to go away. We don't want to acknowledge it. That's where the discrepancy comes in. That was just me. Not in this latest article. But I thought I'd just throw that in, in there as I was reading that Jeff Bezos wasn't liking what she said. Deflection, deflection, deflection. No one that has the capacity and definitely was privileged Way of living life won't understand the struggle. They would totally dismiss it or deflect. At least that was my uh, experience when I did bring up certain things to this uh, lady's acknowledgement. I had some of the same feelings, not as worded as she had, but among my colleagues, I sure did. And it just got looked at like, <sighs> really? We're really going to go back there. But see, we don't understand the past. We don't correct the mistakes of the past and the present and future. How can we go forward on good terms? How can we? But anyway, me, my plight, you know, I get, I love to rant when I feel like I need to say something. And I get that. Okay, so we go back to the article. It said, um, yeah, that ended the article, really. It says, um, this article originally appeared on Huffing, a Huffington Post and has been updated. Okay, so see, you're going to have people that are for what the Queen stood for and how she ran her government, and you're going to have foes. You're going to have people like, mm -mm, no ma'am, no sir, no lord. We need our reparations. We need the government, the Britain, gov the Britain government to 
understand our plight, our concerns, our woes. It just, it just shouldn't be for the privilege to be able to live comfortably because they always had lived comfortably. They don't know anything about the struggle or any of that. So I stand firm with uh, Sonny Host. He did a very good job, very eloquently spoken, and we should take care of that. But again, when it comes to wanting to give us reparations, there's an issue, there's a concern, there's a debate, and it just gets further and further and further out the minds of privy that can make a difference and do better, do right, and give us our reparations, but then they won't do that. Okay, so that's all I got of this particular article. Hopefully y'all enjoyed it. Y'all found some enlightenment of it. Enlightening of it. And we can go and have a dialogue in the comment section if y'all choose to do so. Okay, other than that, I ain't got no more for this video, and I'll see you on the next. Bye-bye.